Uh, this is a uh, question paper for um, quantity survey uh, that was done in 2018. So diploma in quantity survey, November 2018. Uh, and the question paper is available in uh, Easy Tivet. And also I've provided a link below for you to download the paper. So this paper was gotten from Easy Tivet. And I've... <laughs> Just seen it's just a good question paper which can be done by all the students for diploma and even for certificates in land survey and for diploma in land survey, uh, building, civil, architect, and also for the land surveyors. So the question goes by. So the figure one shows a circular curve to be set out using a 30 meter uh, code on through the change basis between two straights deflecting at an angle of 56. So calculate the first A, radius of the curve, B, change T1, C, subcord lengths. So those are the all codes and subcodes. Yeah. Then the last, we calculate the deflection angle for the first subcode, the standard code, and the last code. So here, this is a total of 20 marks, uh, which was a good question. So here we have been given the diagram, which is rare. So, but the diagram represents a good information which we are supposed to see. So here we have been given T2. So if we have already been given T2, we can get T1. Then we have been given the distance of MN as 28 meters. Uh, so here the value for uh, MN, we have been given 28 meters. So we go ahead and we start our answering. So the first question we are supposed to find the radius of the curve. So here in the radius of the curve, we need to understand uh, from where our concept can be gotten. So I have illustrated the same. So MN, uh, MN is equal to 28 meters. And this 28 meters is the same as the mid ordinate. So you go ahead and you write the formula for the mid ordinate. So the mid ordinate will be is equal to R into 1 minus cos theta over 2. So the mid ordinate is equal to 28 meters that we have been given in the question. So here it's the 28 meters. So 28 meters is equal to R into 1 minus cos uh, 56, uh, which was also given as the deflection angle for the question. So it was given in the question. So here the angle of deflection is 56 degrees. So it, uh, so here we have 28 is equal to R into 1 minus cos uh, 56 over 2. So that is the uh, the distance that we had already been given. So here we have 28 is equal to R times 0 0.117. Uh, so that is the answer that we had gotten. So cos 56 divided by 2. And then our answer so 1 minus our answer and we get 0 0.117 so when we divide it by 28 so our r becomes uh, 238.21 meters so that is our answer so we move to the second question we are supposed to find the change of t1 so the change of t1 so we first have to calculate the tangent length so the tangent length is equals to r tan theta over 2. So r tan theta over 2. So here we have, so r is the, uh, the radius that we have gotten here. So r times tan 56 divided by 2. So r is equals to uh, 2. So r is equals to 239.21 then 56 over 2 so that our answer will be so the tangent length will be 
27.19 meters so having gotten that so t1 will is equals to change of intersection minus the tangent length uh, we have calculated that but here also t2 is equals to t1 minus length of the curve so here we don't have change of intersection so i'm not going to use that for now so i go ahead and calculate the length of the curve so length of the curve is equals to pi uh, theta r times over 180 so you go ahead and you put your values so the answer for the length of the curve will be 233.80 meters so this is the length of the curve and here t2 is equals to t1 plus length of the curve and we had already been given t2 in the question so on the diagram so t2 was already given there so here is t2 is equals to 2000 meters so 2000 meters so t2 is equals to 2000 so here we replace in our formula so t2 is equals to t1 plus curve length so we equate t2 uh, so 2000 is equals to t1 plus the length of the curve and after um, uh, after changing the values so t1 will be uh, 2000 so this value here will be subtraction so uh, the when the change when the sign goes to the other side it changes so 2000 minus uh, the length of the curve here we get our t1 so our t1 will be 1766.20 so that is t1 and then after finding our t1 so t1 will be that so t1 is equals to mm -hmm. so t1 is equals to uh, this is the the value that we have been given here so t1 is equals to that so we go ahead and we see our next so what do they need so that is the sub code length and the sub code length is calculated from the change of the first intersection so t1 so from t1 we divide it by the number of uh peg interval that we have been given so here we it was supposed to be started out using a 30 meter standard code so the 30 meter so we divide it by the 30 so we get here we have full chains so we have 58 full chains and the last the remainder was uh 26.20 meters so our first subcode will be 30 which is the 30 full the chain our chain was 30 meters so the 30 meters minus the one that had remained so when you subtract that you remain with so that is 3.8 meters that is the first sub code and then here we go ahead we want to find uh, the remaining full codes on the last sub code so from the length from the curve length uh, we subtract the first sub code and we remain with uh 230 so 230 divided by 30 the 30 meter peg interval so here we have uh seven full so when you divide we get seven full uh codes then the last will be 20 the remainder so seven times 30 we get uh, that will be 210 minus uh, so this minus 230 minus the 210 and we remain with 20 meter so that is from the length of the curve so our last subcode will be 20 meters so our first subcode is uh, 3.8 uh, the full codes there are seven of them all of them there are 30 meters then the last subcode is 20 meters uh, so having seen that we go ahead and we see so they need the deflection angle for the first subcode the standard and the last code so this is the same it was just repeated so the concept only changes in the adjacent questions so the deflection angle is equals to 17 18.9 times 
uh, 8 so this is the first subcode 3.8 then divided by r which is 239.21 so this formula is in meters so after finding our answer we divide it by 60 in order for us to convert it into uh, the second then we press the b button in the calculator and our answer changes to uh, degrees minutes and seconds so that will be zero uh, degrees 27 uh, minutes 18 second then we go ahead and define the deflection angle for the full codes so the full codes they are 30 meters so 17 18.9 times the 30 over the r so r then our formula is in minutes so we divide it by 60 after dividing it by 60 you press the b the calculator the button where we have a b uh, it is in red then our answer becomes 3 degrees 35 minutes 34 seconds uh, so that is our answer then we go ahead and find the deflection angle for the last subcode so the last subcode is 20 meters so that is the only thing that changes here so 17 18.9 times the 20 the 20 meters then divide by r and then our formula is in minutes so we divide it by 60 and we get 2 degrees 23 um, minutes 43 seconds then we go ahead and we apply the arithmetic check and after applying the arithmetic check our answer is correct so the arithmetic check should be a half what we were giving the deflection angle that we had been given there so um, after calculating mine checked and that is the correct thing so this will be available in the link below you can go ahead and 